Hello everyone, in this video I will teach you everything that you need to know about the selection tools in Autodesk Sketchbook. You can access the selection tool menu by tapping on here. There are three types of selection tools, which are the lasso tool, the rectangle tool, and the magic wand. Here you can choose the way that you want the selection tool to react. You can choose between three options. The first one is replace, which replaces the old selection with a new one. The second option is add which adds to the selection. You can combine multiple selections when using the add option. The last option is remove. When having the remove option, you can't make a selection because what remove does is that it removes from a pre-existing selection. For example, let's say that we made a selection, but we want to remove this part of it. To do that, you can just select the part that you want to be removed. And it automatically gets deleted. When you have made a selection and want to color in it, what you should do is to get rid of the selection menu. Otherwise, it will continue on using the selection tool. You can easily remove it by tapping on any of the brushes. The second selection type is a rectangle selection, which basically selects rectangular shapes. If you want to remove a selection, you can either click on the selection icon or you can tap at this icon. The last selection type is the magic wand which is useful for many different things. When using the magic wand, I strongly recommend to use the add option. I will tell you why that is in a second. You can also choose the tolerance that you want to use. The tolerance determines the intensity of the selection where more tolerance selects more, and less tolerance selects less. Anyways, you can use the magic wand to remove backgrounds by selecting the background with the magic wand and then cut the layer. However, if the background has a lot of details, you should then instead select the part that you want to keep, and then tap on invert which inverts the selection. Now the background is selected. Then cut the layer. You may be noticed that the magic wand selects areas of the same color that are connected. But it also selects shapes that are closed with clear lines. For example, let's say that you want to fill this shape with a color without coloring outside of it. Now you can just use the color fill tool, but sometimes it leaves some empty areas. Now I don't know if you can see them, but it is more noticeable when you have a different color underneath the shape. To solve that problem, you can fill the shape again using the fill tool, but sometimes it makes the shape bigger. Or you can select the shape by tapping at it multiple times using the magic wand with the add option so that you make sure that everything is selected and then you can fill it by using the fill tool. That way it is guaranteed that you will not be annoyed by those empty areas. This circle-like icon allows you to move the selection. 
It can be used to make multiple copies of the same shape. Alright guys, this was it for the video. Don't forget to like if you think it was helpful. Thanks for watching and see you on another video.